we are looking at uh, chapter number 5 which is coal and petroleum coal and petroleum question and answer we are going to see the first is what are the advantages of using cng and lpg as fuels the various advantages first cng lpg they are non polluting fuels LPG and CNG, they are easy to store and they can be transported easily. CNG is used for power generation. They both have more energy per unit volume. And this LPG can be directly, can be used directly for burning homes, uh, means burning in homes and factories, that is heating purposes. There are easily available and the cost is also quite affordable lpg and cng virtually they don't create any ash after burning and this is very important name the petroleum product used for surfacing of roads bitumen is the petroleum product used for surfacing the road or surfacing of roads Describe how coal is formed from dead vegetation. What is the purpose called? Or what is the process called? How coal is formed? About 300 million years ago, the earth has dense forest. And uh, they were in low-lying wetland areas. And because of certain natural processes that go, is, goes on, like flooding, these forests, they got buried under, under the soil. And as more and more soil deposited over them, they were compressed. And the temperature also rose as they went deeper and deeper. Because of high pressure and high temperature, these plants, they, or you can say dead plants, they started slowly converted to coal. As coal contains uh, mainly the carbon, the slow process of conversion of dead vegetation dead vegetation dead vegetation into coal is called carbonization what it is called carbonization we need to fill the fill in the blanks so fossil fuels are natural gas coal petroleum natural gas coal and petroleum are fossil fuels the the process of separation of different constitute from Petroleum is called refining. So, refining is how we separate different parts or constituents of petroleum. Least polluting fuel for vehicle is CNG. CNG. We have to tick true and false. So, first is fossil fuels can be made in the laboratory. This is false, it cannot be made. CNG is more polluting fuel than petrol. This is also false. CNG, CNG more clean fuel than petrol. Coke is a almost pure form of carbon. This is true. So we cross this. This is true. Coal tar is mixture of various substances. Yes, it is also true. Kerosene is not a fossil fuel. Kerosene is not a fossil fuel. This is false. This is again false, right? Explain why fossil fuels are exhaustible natural resources. Fossil fuels are formed because of various natural processes over millions of years of time. And the action of high temperature, high pressure on all the plants and animals which were dead because of certain reason, uh, the natural reasons. So these fossil fuels are exhaustible natural resources because you cannot make it, cannot be recreated in this short period of time. Next is describe characteristics and uses of coke. This coke is very tough porous black substance and this is 
produced by the destructive distillation of coal. Coke is produced by destructive distillation of coal. And this coke is it's an almost pure form of carbon and used as domestic used in domestic use also in as an industrial fuel in stoves and furnaces used in manufacture of tea very little or you know practically no smoke coke provides or coke gives and uh, this is also used for ex extraction of metals and coke can be used to make fuel gases explain the process of formation of petroleum and uh, as we have discussed petroleum was formed from organisms living in the sea as these organisms died because of uh, natural phenomena the bodies settled down at the bottom of the sea and got covered with sand and clay and the absence of air the and also the high pressure and high temperature for over millions of years they'd have transformed the dead organisms into petroleum and natural gas so these petroleum deposits they are usually found mixed with the salt water so the petroleum is lighter than salt water hence it floats over it this is table showing the total power shortage in India 91 till 97. Show the data in the form of a graph. You have to plot shortage percentage for the year on the y axis and on the axis, axis the year. So this is how we can draw. This is on the this is y axis, this is x axis. So we have the x axis as years 1991, 1992 to 1997, and these are the shortages. So we, we can just start with various numbers and we can plot it. I hope that you'll be able to do because we can start this. These are the numbers you can start with uh, easily say um, because it, the, the lowest is 7.1. You can start with 7 and then you can go ahead. It's like 7.5, like 8, 8.5, uh, 9, 9.5, like this you can put and you can just plot these and these are the, this is the graph. So this is all about this chapter. Thank you so much and take care of yourself.